This is the Sanger sequencer in the genomic shared resource at the Wistar Institute. It's a sequencer that sequences fragments of DNA. So a scientist may be interested in a particular gene and they may have isolated that gene and just wanted to check the sequence of that gene to see if there are any mutations or anything else. So they would then clone it into a vector, give it to us, and we would get the sequence of that gene using this machine. The sequence is basically the code that makes up the gene. Before we put the gene into this machine, you have to make more copies of the gene. In making more copies, you do PCR. To do PCR, we have to add a lot of reagents, enzymes, into the reaction. One of the main things that we add into the reaction is the building block of DNA, which is a nucleotide. There are four nucleotides that are part of our DNA, and each of those nucleotides is tagged with a different fluorescent dye. When it goes into this machine, it goes through a thin capillary and it reads the fluorescence. Depending on what fluorescence is being read, it will tell you which nucleotide was in the sequence of the DNA. In the end, a scientist's aim is to try to find ways to help fight that disease or fight that cancer that they're studying.